I heard this is by far the scariest video to date. Make sure to smash, hit the subscribe bell because let's check it out, man. Last I'm hyped. Stop. This next viral video was shared by multiple social media accounts on the internet, but none of them mentioned the original source. Mm. The video shows a man inspecting an old abandoned bus somewhere in the rural countryside of Japan. Of course, Japan once again, dude, let's go. As you might expect, things take a terrifying turn. <laughs> Bro, okay, Japan, I don't know what it is, but Japan kind of crazy, man. So we got a bus that's completely... Oh, oh, yo, what? Oh my god. Oh, hey, whoa. No way, dude. Bro, I don't want to do this, man. Oh my god, that... That broke my EXC. Because I saw from the mirror, I was like, and then, yo, yeah, this, I couldn't even fire my on time. I'm going to fire now. Oh my God, dude. I was kind of happy watching the video. No, no, dude. As the man approaches the entrance to the bus, a girl can be seen watching him from the window. He quickly looks inside. But there's no one there. Now, because there's no source, it's impossible to say whether this footage is real or fake. But as always, I leave that up to you to decide. Damn. Yo, thoughts, boys? Can be CGI, Something though. I don't know. Watch is but... over. Paranormal investigator Alex from the YouTube channel Hunting the Unknown sets out to investigate an old abandoned nun convent in the south of England. The old building also doubled as an asylum for the mentally ill. The convent slash asylum was active from the 1800s all the way into the late 1900s. Damn. With over a hundred years of dark history, it's not surprising that the building is said to be extremely haunted. One ghost Bro. <laughs> Extremely haunted, eh? The figure that haunts the building is said to be that of a sad nun who is said to still wander the hallways of the old asylum to this day. Alex decides to explore the convent completely. I don't know what it is, but whenever they talk about like nuns and you know, p religious people, like p ghosts of the religious people, I don't know, it's just extra scary. Is that me or you feel that way too? Alone with nothing but a camera and a flashlight. While inside, he gets the overwhelming sense that someone is watching him. Hello, is anyone here? My guy should have taken, taken a, taken a shoddy or a, oh, eat. Yo, okay, I don't know what I'm seeing, bro. I feel like it's just gonna jump out, dude. I'm ready. I'm ready to bust, dog. Let me reload. Cover me, I'm reloading. Fire in the hole. Two rounds, two rounds fired. Hello? There was a little bit of sparkle some something. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh hey, yeah. Yo, I, no, I don't wanna do this. Uh, oh, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my God, oh my God. Dude, I don't wanna- Alex hears what, strange what? noises and feels like he's being followed. Then he captures something absolutely terrifying. Yo, I don't, oh my God, bro, like this is, this is bad. This is bad. I I gotta. Oh it. Oh oh my god. Yo bro, yo, yo there is there is there is there is. Dude, I should not keep. Oh my, bro, bro, what the? Yo, what the actual? Why are you taking a selfie mode, man? Why? Why, bro? God damn. Like he he turns around. He's like, where's my? He, he's recording like that, right? He's recording like that, and all of a sudden he moves it on his face, and we see his face, bro. Like what, bro? Don't do that. Don't do Did that. You see it? The investigator doesn't even notice, but as he passes one of the empty old asylum rooms, an ominous dark figure seems to be lurking inside. A figure with a creepy resemblance to the shadowy outline of a nun. So yeah. could it be that the old nun who allegedly haunts the convent was watching Alex? Well, who knows? But you can watch this entire exploration over on the YouTube channel, Hunting <laughs> the Unknown. <laughs> Fire 
and brimstone. This next bizarre video is a bit of a mystery. The video was shared to the internet without a source and it's a bit unclear as to exactly what is going on here. The footage shows a dangerous fire near two cars and something else truly disturbing. Daniel, truly, bro, that is not looking, what the actual? Is that like a child inside, like a kid? Just walking in fire, fireman? Someone or something can be seen silently walking through the fire, seemingly unbothered and unhurt. Eerily, yeah, the figure resembles the shape of a small child. He must be like, yo, I do that every single day, dog. Like, it's, it's pretty normal. Like, I, I do that every single day. Could it be Crazy that the guy. fire tragically claimed a victim whose spirit is lost in the blaze? Without a source, maybe we'll just never know. No source. The woman in white. Musician Edo Olives from Torreon, Mexico, is driving home late one night on the Satillo Torreon Highway when he spots something truly disturbing. On the highway? Yo, I remember uh, there's a video I did on the channel that was similar. Definitely check out other videos on the channel as well, guys. What the? E Somebody was running? A woman dressed in white can be seen running in the emergency lane of the highway, her arms outstretched in a strange way. Sparta! For Sparta! I'm gonna run for Sparta! Some video commenters even suggested that it looks like the woman has no head. Now, Edward Olivas actually thought he might be hallucinating at first, as he was extremely tired from his long drive home. But later, he checks his dashcam footage, and he is shocked to discover that the woman was 100% real. Edder says he has no idea why a woman would be running down the dangerous and busy highway. Don't people often run at the highways like that? <laughs> I don't know, but that is truly crazy, truly bizarre on top, right? Yeah. It's so late at night, he Thoughts? says that he thinks he might have captured a ghost on camera. But what do you think? Is this encounter paranormal or just weird? Just you weird, decide. I would say. Uh, can be paranormal more too, but than he bargained for. more weird for sure. Paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film are contacted by one of their viewers, a man named Taguchi who claims that he's been experiencing strange activity in his studio apartment somewhere in Japan. Taguchi explains that six Japan months ago again. he found a very cheap apartment. And you might ask, well, why was it so cheap? It turns out that the previous owner tragically took his own life right where Taguchi would be living and sleeping. But the young man doesn't believe in ghosts, so he happily signs the lease, despite the apartment's dark history. Damn. But then, Taguchi starts to have trouble sleeping. Uh, so basically where I'm at, there was somebody that also passed away, and there are people that actually moved in, they also do not care about it. And, and so far there's nothing paranormal that has happened, because uh, I believe that their, their kids were actually afraid to move in, so their kids are actually old. Uh, so they they are living in another apartment but their parents are living just next door to us where a peep uh, where a guy actually passed away so yeah i i don't know about that there are some people that 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 do not care there's some people that are not afraid and yeah there's some people that are afraid and it doesn't happen all the time so he says that he hears footsteps voices and scariest of all he starts to experience sleep paralysis during which he sees a distorted laughing oh face right above him as he lays in bed, unable to move. Bro. Tomo and Hiro decide to set up two static cameras in Taguchi's home for a month. At the end of that time, they review for the a month? month of collected footage. They are shocked. For a month? For a month? Bro, sleep paralysis is a crazy thing. By what they find. I, I wish that on none of, none of, no people, no people, man. One no night one. as Taguchi is sleeping, this happens. Oh, snap, dude. Wait, he, uh, he, oh. Yeah, he's taking a side. <laughs> is he groaning? <laughs> He takes his uh, thing off. <clears throat> yeah, he's uh, putting his hands on his neck area. Pain expression and clutching at his neck. Okay. 
Okay, what I think is happening is that a paid actor, uh, Hollywood acting, or if to be believed, it is almost as though somebody was kind of like, you know, on his neck, just trying to squeeze his neck and subconsciously he Taguchi just... Taguchi appears to be suffering from a horrible nightmare as he grabs at his neck, seemingly in pain. Or bad dream, yeah. in an absolute panic. But did you see it? What? A pale figure seems to materialize in the hallway. The apparition appears to be watching Taguchi as he struggles in his sleep. Damn. Taguchi finally wakes and the figure disappears into thin air. Damn. But there's something even stranger. Because the second camera pointed at the hallway loses focus at the exact same time of the incident. And a distorted face seems to appear right in front of the camera. Oh my god. Okay, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. Okay, distorted face. Oh, snap. Bro, fire in the hole. Back. Two rounds fire. Two rounds fire. I think we're fine. I'm reloading. Yeah, so dude. Could this be the same know. bizarre face that Taguchi claims he has seen at night? The Omagatoki team believes that Taguchi might be haunted by the spirit of the previous owner. But you can decide for yourself and watch the entire investigation over on the YouTube channel. Y'all are crazy. Omagatoki film. Y'all are crazy, man. Yeah, Shake make sure to subscribe, Ronald boys. And, uh, subscribe. Oh, no. Subscribe to my channel and uh, to the homie Nukes Top 5. Henning from Oslo, Norway says that for years Hit the he bell. has heard strange, unexplained sounds coming from his attic. Over time, the strange activity has just gotten worse. So one day, Henning hears noise from his attic door and grabs his phone to record. Yo, bad idea. Hello? I think. Or good idea. Hello? Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, oh! What? Bro. Okay, what happened? We're in the middle of. Oh! That's just a jacket. Hello? Bro, I'm about to bust, though. Oh, goddamn. Yo, one second. Let me grab my shoddy. Hello? Don't open it. Don't Hello? open it. Uh oh. Bro. Oh my god. Yo, what would you do if you saw something like that? E e e e no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh. Dude, there's. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro. The bro, door what the? To Henning's attic shakes and rattles. Bro, what the actual crap, man? What the? Eh? Oh my god, dude. Rolls around as if someone is trying to open the door. But when Henning snatches the door open, there's no one there. And then the door suddenly slams shut on its own. <laughs> now there's <laughs> and he runs little run. extra info on this clip. So, is it a real paranormal encounter? Yo, my boy actually held R2 on his controller and just sprinted, just yeeted though. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Can be a hoax, oh, but definitely camera. scary. Yeah. TikTok user Summer, who is a mother of two, lives in a small house in an old town in rural Georgia. Late one night, Summer takes her phone out to record a quick video in her backyard. But she immediately notices something that is absolutely unnerving. Y'all, I am in my yard. Watch my face. Uh, oh, 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 oh! This is not an app doing this. This is my yard. Oh my Watch god. My kids behind me. What? Watch my face. Holy snap! Church, you can see straight through me. I kid you not. Look at this. Whoa. On camera, Summer's face seems to twist and distort into something unrecognizable as she simply moves around in her own backyard. Bro. Summer says that she's deeply worried. That's trippy, man. That's trippy if that is legit. That the strange old church across the street might be the cause of the creepy occurrence. She attempts to find information about the history of the old church but she hits a dead end 
and is left with no answers. So did Summer catch a bizarre paranormal visual disturbance on camera? Or I don't know. Just what is going on here? Pod chat? Pods? You think it's green screen video or or legit? Because it, it can be green screen though. You know, with green screen stuff like that can be ha can happen. You can make stuff like that happen, but. The most haunted cemetery. Oh, Popular snap. YouTuber Franco TV is known for exploring terrifying abandoned locations in the U.S. But for the first time ever, Franco travels south to the country of Peru to investigate oh, no. the quote most haunted cemetery in South America. My God, the Pitero Maestro Cemetery. The giant graveyard is well known by locals who claim that the place attracts witches who perform dark rituals with the bones of the deceased. As Frank explores, he finds signs of witchcraft everywhere. Tombs filled with burnt out candles, voodoo dolls, and bizarre notes. One of the tombs belongs to a world famous- Bro, I, I also have heard stories where, uh, because I'm personally from Pakistan and uh, I have heard stories that there are some people, uh, bad people obviously, um, they would do, I, I don't want to say bad people, uh, I would just say like, people are not bad, it's just their actions that's bad, right? But but the thing is that I have heard stories that there are people that would actually take the bones of the deceased and do some stuff. Um, so yeah, so I, I heard him say that and it it triggered that memory when I back when, when I heard that. So I don't know if that's legit or not, but yep, I, I have heard stuff like that too. Alleged witch, Gregoria Camacho, who died in 1897. Fans from all over the globe flocked to her grave to carve their names and leave candles and offerings. And when Franco finds her crypt, Something happens that he simply cannot explain. Uh oh. A witch who was buried here. Now, apparently, she did good and bad, but mostly dark stuff. So, on the top of her tomb, oh, they spray painted. Oh, there's somebody behind uh, him, or witch what? Of Satan and stuff. But her tomb is actually kind of different from all the others because you can see a skull and bones, which kind of represents something very, very dark. But this is actually her. Yo, my guy be crazy for going in. Tomb right here. Her name is Georgiria Camacho or Georgia. <laughs> Gregoria, something like that. 1858? Torture names. And you can see how other witches would carve their names in here and leave candles and trinkets. 1853. That looks like it says Camila. <laughs> and if you look out here, you can see where they put all the candles. Oh. It's different from all the others because they put all these candles here and candies. Isn't oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? Oh my god, bro. That's trippy, what dude. Run. Just here. Bro, hold R2. Run. Just like run. somebody laughing. Just run, dude. Thing is, on the maps, this area is blocked off. So once you walk back here, there's nowhere else you can go. <laughs> Listen. One round fired, one round fired. Hello? Shots fired, shots fired. I heard, I heard the car traffic. I heard the traffic. There's literally oh. no one here. Oh, Do not here. turn like that, bro. I got creeped out. Franco hears what can only be described as a sinister and mocking laugh coming from somewhere in the graveyard. And that's not the only strange event that Franco experiences that night. As he searches through open and abandoned cribs, he captures something downright chilling. Yo, downright right chilling? There. I don't oh know my. if those are the remains. Bro, like, why would you actually go inside like that, bro? That, that's just, don't, don't even look good. Looks like a sock and something tied up here. Let me e zoom in. Dude, I'm gonna do it with my Maybe fist, okay? Zoom in a lot more on post editing, so it looks like it could be. You're on Giga Chad. There, huh? That looks like a dead animal or something. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong. You're strong, boys. Oh, that is so creepy. All right, I just got the K2 meter. Alguien está aquí adentro? What? Anyone here? Oh, you, you, this. 
There's X's. Yo, don't move like that, man. Don't move. I get scared. You see that? On the side of the wall. Oh, that's interesting. Be that's something that's kind of seen in Mississippi. When you see X mark, it's like they have something they want you to do, and they call upon the spirit to doing it. Did what? you hear it? Franco doesn't notice, but a faint female voice can be heard whispering, Hola. You see that? Hola, como estas? The giant historic cemetery is also the final resting place for another well-known figure, Ricardo Espiel, a young boy who tragically died when he was only six years old. Damn. Boy Ricardo was said to be a benevolent and protective spirit. Visitors claim that the boy's ghost grants wishes and blessings to true believers. But Watch when him open Franco his eyes. inspects the young boy's gravestone, he captures something downright chilling. Downright chilling, okay. Thankfully not terrifying. Be when he says terrifying, I need to get the shotgun. But when he says chilling, I think I can do it with my fist. I, it's fine. ...of a child named Ricardo. Now, apparently Ricardo grants blessings and wishes to everyone who comes to him. Seeking help. I don't know he's if he's gonna bless well now, dog. spirit that protects this graveyard. Well, one protects it and two also offers blessings to everyone who shows up here. I wanted to see if I can read what this says. A la memoria de Ricardo M. Sus amigos, 8 de Augusto, December. Is oh there will be something? Is he alone or or he just had a camera on a tripod and one in his hands too? 1887. Yeah, snap. Ricardo Isabel Mariano Nuevo. Yeah, that felt like a Mariano hand, right? Nuevo. Now, what's more interesting about this is that in the back, you could see all the prayers from everyone and all the blessings. And what's more interesting is that it even says gracias. Like, pretty much thank you for making these blessings come true. Any blessing you want, it'll be blessed by Ricardo. A pale, translucent arm seems to reach out from the young boy's grave. But again, Franco... That hand might be out to bless him, you know? Now, you never know. He might, he might actually genuinely be blessing him. You never know. doesn't notice. It's only after he posts this video to YouTube that the arm is spotted by some very perceptive viewers. So is oh, this damn. indeed the most haunted cemetery in South America? <laughs> you can watch Franco's entire three-part investigation over on his YouTube channel, Franco TV. Hey, yum. That's the crazy. Old Clean Park Estate. Number two? Over a hundred years ago. Yeah, I feel like number one is about to be crazy. Clean Park, Scotland was a bustling community of shipyard workers and their families. Shockingly, the estate of 430 apartments, a primary school, and a church is now completely abandoned after the shipyard jobs dried up and the workers all just moved away. Curious visitors are warned to stay away because, quote, dangerous things happen at the Clune Park Estate. It is said that many people have lost their lives on the property under suspicious circumstances. Mm. But the warnings don't stop ghost hunting teams scared to death zero as they venture out to explore the old abandoned apartments of Clune Park. Yeah, somebody tell these mortal men to not do that, man. These mortal men be crazy, man. At first, they don't experience much, just a few strange noises. You know, there's dinging and beeping and... At first they don't, but then they do? Eek. What the f***? Okay, I think we're safe, boys. Oi, oh, eek, oh, eek. He says at first it, it's just sounds, but then something will happen. Okay, maybe we're at that something part now. Yo. What was that? As time passes and the day's exploration turns to night, the team experiences something that shocks them to their core. All right, boys, All right, it is time open. to get the shotty. I don't know if yeah. I have long range on the shotgun or not, but that's you see long. movement then? Yeah. Movement? Move the light. 
Yo, it's gonna appear, I tell you. Yo. Oh, Yo. Whoa. Whoa. oh my god! Bro! Is that? Yo, somebody open! Somebody, oh my god! Yo. What the actual? Yeah. Dude, my shotgun Is didn't work. This? I gotta do handgun only. Okay, shotgun close range works. Yep. Second floor, man. Yo, my guy not a scared. He's like, yeah. Dude, if it was me, I would press R2. I would scurry, dude. I would G. No, it's not right, bro. Yeah, it's already like outside, though, isn't it? Hello? Which one is it? I don't know, man. Don't look good. Dude, don't move like that, man. Breathe in. Okay, I'm a giga chat. I'm a giga chat. You're strong, boys. You're strong. Someone you can do this. something can be seen at a window. The guys head inside and up the stairs, but there's no. That really looked like a like a face, right? One there. Just a few creepy noises. Whoever was at the window seems to have just disappeared. The ghost hunting team believes that they captured something paranormal. It looks like an old woman face. I don't know. But Very hard to say. Let but. me know what you think. Yo. Yo. Yeah, my lo my yeah. shotgun didn't work. The monster my shotgun didn't in the work. Closet. TikTok user Jennifer Lynn, her husband, and three children. Dude, I feel like this is gonna be the craziest clip here. If you're new, definitely hit the bell, man. Moved hit the bell. A new home drop a thumbs up. Mid March. Since then, Jennifer has been busy painting and renovating the house while she is home alone, watching over her three-year-old son, Caleb. But lately, Caleb has started insisting that what he refers to as a quote monster lives in one of their upstairs closets. Oh my God! Where's the monster? This is gonna be crazy. Right here. Right here. Now, Caleb sometimes refers to this quote monster as his friend, or as her, and occasionally as him. But this is where things start to get really. So even the so the ghost having uh, gender issues or whatnot. But listen, man. Whenever the kids or dogs or pets in general react that way yeah then it's like dude because there are uh, there are a lot of stories of kids where they're they're like hey man i, I see something and i talk to somebody it's, it's my friend you know their words then i'm like yeah man you might want to just back away a little really strange because one day caleb claims that his quote friend is in the tunnel is your friend still here hmm? is your friend still here why do you know in the tunnel in the tunnel What's she doing in the tunnel? I said the nice hair. Imagination or? What color is your friend? Comment one if you believe or two if you think it, it, it's just the parents trying to make him lie. But kids normally don't lie, so. Blue. She's blue. Yeah, he's blue. He's blue. Now, mom Jennifer just dismisses it as a child's imagination because obviously they don't have a tunnel in their home. But the more Jennifer ponders what little Caleb said, she remembers this. Maybe he means the hallway that's like a tunnel. His little voice is skewed. Hallway has a tunnel. It's a small closet or a storage space or I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Damn, so she's just discovering that there was something like this in her home? A crawl space or something, but certainly something that a child could interpret as a quote, tunnel. Yeah. But there's even more creepy stuff going on. Because one night as Caleb keeps insisting that there is a monster in the closet upstairs, this happens. Bro, I don't know if I should, because we have a kid in the house, I, I wanna put the weapon away, dude. Well, do just a fat fight first. I go find the monster. Uh oh. Bro, that's in insane, man. Is the monster in there? Nope. Where's the monster? Okay, thank God. What? What? It's in Caden's room. 
Go go check it. Go check the monster. Go check on the monster? Yeah. I don't want to do that. Go what? Check. What does go the monster check. look like? It's blue. It, it, go. It's blue? Go check him. Bro. Okay, we don't have the kid here. We can pull the... Oh, no, we have the kid. Gotta put the weapon away. Oh, God, no. Oh, ye! Oh. I fire him. What? I fire him. Oh my god, dude. I'm not sure. Bro, that's trip. Okay, no. pause, pause. That's trippy, man. Yo, what would you if you're okay, I'm not a parent, but if you're a parent and you see your child, your kid actually like do that pointing finger says like, yo, I see something here, it's here. What would your reaction be? Would you be afraid? Would you be like, nah man, yo, let me whoop your way, let me whoop your way. Uh, or you would be like, it's imagination. Any tough parents out there, let me know it. Obviously, it's spooky enough for your child to be playing hide and seek with his invisible monster friend. Yeah. But when Jennifer uploads the video to TikTok, her loyal viewers hear something in the video that Jennifer didn't even notice. Damn. Oh, Damn. Oh, God, no. Yeah, psychologists would be like, yeah, man, the kid is abnormal, man. He's mentally challenged. That's what psychologists... Jennifer and little Caleb are all alone in the house, but what sounds like a male voice can be heard. To me, it sounds like it could be saying, this is my place, or this is my house. <laughs> But every viewer who watches the video seems to hear something different. So, let me know what you hear. I don't know what I hear. You can watch Jennifer Lynn and her son I don't Caleb's know, that's trippy. But click on this video on the screen if you want to be scared tonight. Click on it and definitely subscribe and I'll see you there.